I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia, and when I was there, I got a lot of parking tickets and I had to go to court. And after I got back from court, I was really frustrated, so I made a Facebook page called The City of Atlanta and started making announcements like, we've invested $90 million in a trolley system that'll allow citizens to travel 10 whole blocks in a total of three hours. We've removed the speed limit signs because no one was really paying attention to them. If you aren't sure how fast to go, just feel it out. We're shutting down a bunch of roads today. Can't tell you which ones, but you'll figure it out when your day is ruined. Fuck it, just pee wherever you want. And it made the news. And then the city of Atlanta reached out to the news with a statement about the Facebook page. They said the owner of the Satirical City Facebook page was not authorized to use the city's trademark. So the news asked me if I wanted to send a statement, and I did. I said I will remove the logo from the page and discontinue posting as City of Atlanta in exchange for the following. All of my parking and traffic tickets are absolved. $60 cash and two free rides on the trolley. This is my final offer. It never snows in Atlanta. This is from like one or two inches of snow. It was called Snowpocalypse. Everyone just couldn't go anywhere and they were stuck on the freeway. The year after Snowpocalypse, it was supposed to snow another inch and I wanted to warn the citizens. State of emergency declared. We're expecting up to one inch of snow on Friday. Please stay at home and declare yourself safe on Facebook. This is a warning. And then the actual city of Atlanta had to put the false stamp on it. It was really freezing that whole week. Warning, it is dangerously cold outside. Please stay inside. Your weak Atlanta blood is not strong enough to withstand the below 30 temperatures. Then in the comment section on that post, this guy George, he's like, in all seriousness, homeless people downtown need a little special help for the next few days. And then he listed ways you can help homeless people from freezing out in the cold. And then Carla, she's like, that's a great idea. I don't live in Atlanta, but this idea is great. Put it out there on the real city page. Maybe there'll be some great help. He's like, no one reads the real city page. I have a Facebook page called City of Los Angeles. And sometimes people write to the page because they think it's really the city of Los Angeles. Like Sharon, she's like, I've reported this problem multiple times over two years and still nothing is done. The sidewalk is just waiting for someone to fall through. Hi. Please put the cones on top of the hole so no one falls in. They already are. I've asked you guys to fix this sidewalk four times only to be ignored. At least the Department of Water and Power gave me cones. Okay. Please remove the cones now and step into the hole so we know how deep it is. About 18 inches. Thank you for serving the city of Los Angeles. You may now remove yourself from the hole. It rains every now and then in Los Angeles. One day it rained for some people, but not for others. I have a Facebook page called City of Los Angeles. So I wanted people to know that if you would like rain in your area, please contact the Los Angeles Department of Water and Power at 800. Then someone from the actual Los Angeles Department of Water and Power reached out to me and wanted to know that when I said that you could order rain, that, that maybe I accidentally left the word barrels out and meant to say rain barrels. And rain barrels are basically just barrels that are used to collect and harvest water. So I answered, no, just rain. In 2019, the homicide rate for Los Angeles was the lowest it's ever been since 1962. I have a Facebook page called City of Los Angeles. So I wanted to announce the good news. Proud to announce our homicide rate is the lowest it's been since 1962. People on their way to kill someone have more time than ever to calm down and think about their actions as they sit in traffic. Most people knew this was a joke, but some didn't. Like Richard. He's like, who's the moron who writes this kind of crap? Whoever you are, have the courage to step up and reveal yourself. I want a name. I want to know how much we, the public taxpayers, are paying you for this stupidity. I go by the name City of, last name Los Angeles. It's completely free of charge, Rich. Ever since traffic has died down in Los Angeles, people have been speeding a lot more. So I made a page called City of Los Angeles and made the announcement, we understand you're enjoying empty roads, but we need you to slow the fuck down. Melissa's like, somebody's getting fired. Probably not. Erica's like, does the city handbook allow for city employees to use profanity? Hell yeah.